Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. My name is Steam. And if you play Cartcraft, you may have noticed last week that the servers went down for an indeterminate amount of time. I can't remember how long it was. But if you're in the Discord for Cartcraft, you know that that means an update is inbound. And if you start up your Cartcraft, you will see that the full release for the game is now available for everybody to download, everybody to update. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be talking about it. We're going to be reviewing it. Let's get into it. And uh, so to start with, we see some visual changes to the main menu. You'll see Cartcraft and uh, the word drive. All the stuff at the top left is in red. Um, your highlight is in green. Uh, your cart prices are, are in blue. Um, so basically, they just added a bunch of color to the main menus. Maybe did some adjustments to the fonts uh, just to make it look more pleasing to the eye overall. And it really, it works because uh, I do, you know, if cart craft menus can be kind of boring before and now, you know, adding that color just makes them a little bit more fun. And we got some new loading screens too, which is nice. Uh, as you see in the background, Hangar is back. I didn't get a chance to try this two updates ago when it was first dropped. And there were some issues with the map. Uh, it was crashing people's games, and so they pulled it out to work on it. And in this full release of the game, this track is now available in your time trial area. If you want to try this, go to time trial, and it's uh, called Hangar. You can try it in all the... Uh, card class is lots of fun. You will be able to play this one online even though it says it's uh, even though it says it's available mainly because all the offline is unavailable due to a glitch. But um, so here's the KZ2 world record for the track. It is actually a lap uh, that I own. I put this lap up myself. Uh, it probably won't be the world record for long but it feels good to have my name up there. So enjoy this lap and we will be back to talk about the rest of the update in just a moment. Yes, yes, yes. Coming across the line just barely in front of Smooth Operator after no less than 50 laps of trying to do so. And it didn't come without a fair share of, of pain and crashing and bogging the cart down and just overall madness. And here's probably the worst accident that happened while I was hunting down that leaderboard time. As you can see, uh, my boy with the super nice gloves on, able to keep his grip on the shifter and the steering wheel for the entire time. But he's probably going to have to get his neck uh, relocated at the hospital later on today. Uh, definitely a rough impact, that rubber up against that plastic. Lots of fun. Uh, but as far as offline racing, it still functions just like it has always functioned. The bots don't care about your line, and you shouldn't care about the line. There, just push them out the way. Um, really, this is the only head-to-head -head racing you're going to be able to get right now while the offline has the issue that it's having. Basically, just kicking you back to the main menu after you select your card. Very frustrating. But um, moving on to the more fun stuff, the new monster cart. This thing is ridiculous. Two side panels and an engine out of a Mustang, apparently. I don't know. That might not be true. This, I, I'm going to be honest and just say I don't know why they put it in the game. I, maybe they just wanted see if they could test the limits of the the, the software or the hardware or whatever um, this thing's undrivable it sucks i i did this lap and i was drenched in sweat the whole time <laughs> you see this it's very quick on the straights the brakes are all but awful and the handling is just barely enough to keep it from flipping over or flying off the track that is so a very quick thing, I can't imagine any online racing or actual racing is going to happen with this thing given how large it is and how much of the track it demands. But if you want to go fast, I guess this is your cart. Lots of fun. Enjoy it. It's the monster cart. It does feel like you're sitting on top of a demon. And yeah, like I said, I don't know why they put it in the game. But we were able to get third race, uh, third place globally and first place nationally. And that's because only I 
<laughs> only I have decided to drive this cart in the U.S. so far, and only eight other people in the United uh, in the world have decided to drive it. But um, yeah, y'all. Uh, just like any update, you know, there's gonna be headaches, there's gonna be issues, but. I, I do have a lot of faith in the Cartcraft development team. Hopefully we see that rainy weather update coming soon. Um, otherwise, I, I definitely recommend this game to all y'all. If you want to try something new, something demanding, give it a shot. Uh, really appreciate the update. I'd appreciate a like and a sub too. Catch y'all later. Adios, y'all.